I I do uh, this three step method um, okay. to help people to self reflect. It's a process okay. of self questioning, so we okay. can transform any fear based uh, toxic thinking into more empowering thinking. It's a three step system uh -huh. to get our, pull ourselves out of a hole that we got ourselves uh -huh. into. So it's a self help method. You are such a, uh, I guess, teacher and leader of this area. Uh, so do you have no troubles or no uh, negative thoughts? I have fear based <laughs> thinking like everybody else because it's also natural. It's just I have the tools which I share in my work, and I apply the tools. What kind of coach would I be if I didn't practice? Um, yeah, my TEDx talk was on the three golden principles of Greek philosophy. It's my system, my method, the Alkistis method, a method of transforming fear into what I call freedom, I mean inner freedom. So you, you free yourself from your fears, from your anxiety, from your frustration with these three simple principles of Greek philosophy. You know what, instead of explaining academically, I just will explain through a little story with Socrates as the main character. So they say that once upon a time Socrates was walking in the streets and someone ran up to them, him and said, Master, Master, I, I, I have to tell you something about one of your students. And Socrates said, okay, wait a moment though, uh, you have to pass it through three, I want to ask you three questions first. Okay, um, is the story, he says, about what about what you're gonna tell me about one of my students. Is it true? Are you absolutely sure you're telling me the truth? You have the facts? The guy says, well, I'm not so sure. I heard it from someone who heard it from someone else. The second question, is it kind? Is it something kind about my student? Is it, you know, uh, and he said, no, not really. It's kind of mean, you know, gossip. And the third question, he said, is it useful? Is it going to be useful to me to know this story? And uh, the guy said, no, not really. It's not useful at all. So Socrates says, oh, it's not something true. It's not something kind. And it's not something useful. No, I don't want to hear it, what you have to say. So in this little story, you can see these actual principles in action. Uh, let's analyze it. So the truth is um, has to do with integrity. So whenever you have a problem, you have to ask yourself, is my worry, is my anxiety true? Is this thought that I'm telling myself? Maybe I'm lying to myself. Like we lie a lot to ourselves, Ching. We tell ourselves some stories that are not true, a narrative, the inner narrative, you know. Like we say, oh, she's a hateful person. But you have to ask yourself, is that really true? Is she always hateful? Maybe she's nice sometime. Maybe she's done something nice for some people. A person can't only be something. So, you know, you, you question your thoughts. You say, is what I'm thinking true? Then you ask, is what I'm thinking kind to myself, to the other people? And lastly, most practically, is it useful to think this thought or is it just sabotaging me? So it's a self-questioning method. It's a self-questioning method. Socrates, this great Greek philosopher, like the Chinese had Confucius, Socrates is our great philosopher, you know, and he was, he offered us a system of self-questioning, not believing our thoughts. You see, just because you think a thought, it doesn't mean it's true. You have to stop, say time out, and ask yourself, am I lying to myself? Maybe I'm dramatizing. Maybe I'm generalizing. 
Maybe I'm, I'm you know, uh, I've taken it too personally. So it's a, Greek philosophy really is all about questioning yourself, self-questioning, self-reflection. And these three questions uh, really make it easier for people like you and me who don't have time to read all the philosophy books. Just a simple self-questioning method. Would you like to try it? If you're enjoying this method and would really like to dig deeper and understand it, and see how it can work for you, just click on the link below that shows my online course. My online course has several instructional videos and we also have a group that meets weekly and I can help you out to make that transformation from fear to freedom. Continue watching if you're enjoying it and I'll see you at the end with another message. I know I'm asking a lot because in a way it's asking you to expose, but I'd like you to think of something, Ching, perhaps that, just like a complaint in your mind, something that is upsetting you recently. Could you think of something like that? Something that may be bothering you lately. And I'd like to ask the audience to join in and let's do the exercise together. I want everyone to just think of something that's like a complaint, something lately that's been going through their mind. What do you, how do you feel about that? And what is the story you're telling yourself? What, in one or two sentences, okay. what's the thought that actually goes through your mind? So I feel like I'm dealing with a flaky person. Mm. Does that happen often? So we can take that as the sentence, the story. So I hate it that people are uh, unprofessional. Should we say it like that? They're all unprofessional. All these, um, I'm dealing with unprofessional people. Yeah. It's something that goes through your mind. What is the fear you think that is behind that thought? Your own the, fear about you. The, the fear is um, I cannot get work done. Okay. If they don't assist me. My you're, you're doing very, very good, Ching. I, I appreciate, first of all, I appreciate you trying out this exercise, your honesty and your candor. Uh, it's not easy to open up, especially in front of your audience. So I, I know your audience appreciates it uh, too. So the, the deep fear is that I won't be able to get any work done. I won't be able to make progress. We could say that that's a deeper fear underneath. And what will, and now we go deeper. And if that happens, if you won't make any progress, then what would be like a bad consequence? What would be a bad result? What's even worse? I'm not making any progress, so this and this bad is gonna happen. Um, they waste my time. I'm wasting my time. And if you're yeah. wasting your time, then what happens? What's the worst, right. what's, what, what drives deeper? What's the fear that they're wasting your time and What's the fear there? You're, we're digging. You see, we're digging. We're going deeper. Okay, so if people disrespect me in my work, then I, I, I will have less people to deal with. I, I won't have anybody to work with. And if you don't have anybody to work with, what's... And, and if they disrespect you, what does that say about you? What is the deeper fear about you, you see? Maybe, um, may I help, maybe like something like, I'm unworthy. Because uh, deep down inside, like a lo the biggest fear I uh, see through a lot of my clients is often that if that happens, then that means that I'm unworthy. I'm not worthy. Could that be possibly a fear of yours? And they don't take me seriously. They don't take me seriously. So if they don't take you seriously, what does that mean about you? You see, what would that mean <laughs> about you that you are not worthy of yeah, being yeah. taken. That's the fear. You see, that, right. 
Now we caught it. See, I had to dig deep to the root that there, there is a fear that you and many people feel is that if all that happens, if I lose my money or if people don't respect me, that essentially means, oh my God, that I, I will be a failure and that will mean about me, I'm not worthy. That is the core. That is the real essence. So now we take this fear, okay, now we, now we know what the fear is. I feel I'm unworthy. When you think the thought now, I'm unworthy, how does it make your energy, your, your, how does it make you feel? Does it lower your energy? Does it make you feel sad? The thought, I'm unworthy, what does it do with you? Uh, yeah, no, I, it makes me unhappy. Unhappy. And, and, okay, that's mentally. And physically, does it give you energy or does it lower your energy? Uh, definitely lower my energy. Lowers your energy. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we will pass it through the three filters. Now that we know what we're dealing with, the fear is I am unworthy. That's the fear that we are going to transform. Is that story, is that, that sentence, I am unworthy, is it, is it, is it, would you say it's true? Are you unworthy? Is it a true thought? Uh, no. No, of course. So it's a lie you are telling yourself. You see? That's the first filter. Is it true? No, it is not true. We go to the second question. Is that kind? When you think this thought, I'm unworthy, is that something kind you're doing to yourself? Definitely not. No, it's not a nice thing to do to yourself. It's like a little bit of self-abuse. Mm -hmm. Like all of us, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> you're in good company. <laughs> <laughs> and thirdly, the third question, is it useful? Is it useful to have this thought? No, it's not useful, obviously. So it is not true, it is not kind, and it's not useful. So what can we do with this running narrative, the story? We have to change the story that we are telling ourselves, that you are telling yourself, and that our audience is. What, how can we change the narrative? How can we say a new story? A new brainwash <laughs> because you've been brainwashing in a way yourself with a negative story what is another thought you could do to replace the program it's like a computer program mm. is running how can we change that program if you want to see the whole interview with Ching go ahead and click on the link below and you can see that on her YouTube channel thanks for joining goodbye for now